Hi, I'm Baijumax and I blog baijumax.blogspot.com. Welcome to Vedic Mathematics Part 2 Tips and Tricks. Those who have missed first part, you can watch the same in my blog baijumax.blogspot.com. Today's screencast, I'm going to discuss how to find the square of a number using working base technique. I have written the Sanskrit uh, rule uh, in codes. So that means whatever the extent of deficiency from base, lessen it from the given number still further to that very extent and also set up the square of deficiency. Uh, that is the translation of that particular rule. Let's go and see some example and I apply this rule and find out uh, the square of uh, number. Now we have to find the square of a number 8 uh, using Vedic mathematics method. So the number is 8. Now I have taken base is equal to 10. So the other bases are 100, 1000, etc. Since 8 is close to 10, I am taking base as 10 in this case. Uh, how to first find the deficiency from the base? Uh, that is a number minus base. That is minus 2 in this case. First part is 8 plus minus 2 is equal to 6. That is number plus uh, deficiency. And the second part is deficiency square. And the result we get is 64. That is by combining first part and second part. So this is what actually the rule means. So whatever the extent of his deficiency from base, uh, in this case, uh, deficiency is minus 2. Lessen it from the given number. So 8 minus uh, 2 gives us the first part, that is 6. And also square of that deficiency. So minus 2 square, 4. The same holds good for excess also with addition. So that I will discuss uh, later. Let's do an uh, example. 9 square so base is uh, 10 now deficiency I'll just write DEF 9 minus 10 minus 1 first part first part is 9 minus 1 8 and the deficiency square that is 1 so the answer is 81 now Take an example of a number which is greater than 1, say 11. So 11 minus uh, 10 gives us a plus 1. So instead of deficiency, it's excess. So I'll just write EX. So excess is 1 and the first part is 11 plus 1. 12 and the excess square that is 1 so 1 to 1 is the answer now here I have taken a number which is close to another theoretical base 100 so deficiency 92 minus 100 minus 8 first part 92 plus minus 8 is equal to 84 second part 8 square 64 the final answer is 8464 now in this slide um, I'm going to find out 18 square so the base is 10 and excess is 8 the first part is 18 plus 8 which is 26 and second part is 8 square which is 64 but if we combine first part and second part will get a four digit number but 18 square is a three digit number so what we have to do is that we have to add the excess six to the first part so which is, gives us 32 so the final answer is 3 to 4 the same example can be worked out using uh, with a convenient base so what is this convenient base? So actual base or theoretical bases are 
ten hundred thousand but the number 18 is to is close to 20 so we'll take 20 as our convenient base and we'll follow the steps what we have seen earlier uh, to arrive at the result so the deficiency 18 minus 20 gives us minus 2 and the second part is 4 so we have since we have taken a convenient base we have to do something with our uh, intermediate first part I have mentioned here intermediate first part to arrive with the final result so 18 plus my uh, minus 2 gives us 16 so the first part is the intermediate first part multiplied by the ratio of convenient base to actual base in our case that is 2 so 16 multiplied by 2 gives us 32 so the answer is 3 to 4 let's do an example Twenty one. So the con actual base here is ten and convenient base CB twenty ratio twenty by ten two. I'm not going to write uh, the intermediate step and directly I'm going to write first first part. First part is Okay, in between I missed one step. Excess uh, 20 minus 21 minus 20, that is 1. Now the first part is 21 plus 1 multiplied by the ratio. And the second part is 2nd part is 4 so in this case this is, sorry 2nd part is 1 sorry um, the, in this case this is 44 so the final answer is 4 for 1 try out uh, this with uh, big numbers um, thank you for listening that's all bye